Hey guys, come back to you with, uh, with another video. So today, got you some Halo 5 gameplay. So I don't know how long the commentary just today is, so you might see two different gameplays, you might just see one, you might see three, I don't know how long this is going to be. Just because the length of what I want to talk about, I want to make sure you guys get the full grasp of it. So, before I begin the video, the main content of the video, starting next week, I'm going to begin making like a playthrough slash walkthrough the days we're not making videos because we're doing one every other day so we can have something out every single day for you guys to enjoy and not become bored of what's up content wise I have a couple ideas what I'm gonna do is maybe GTA 4 or I'm gonna do the Black Ops games because Black Ops 4 this year I might do GTA 4 and then 5 so I don't know I'm gonna decide so uh, there's that and then, so contrary to today is about the habits of highly effective people. I'm just gonna talk about. I think, yeah, I'm gonna do ten just because the most important ones. I think I'm gonna talk about the ones I think are most important to being successful that anyone can apply. They're more the easier ones to apply, but also some that are really essential in my in my mind. And all these habits that are they're good to have and apply to any field. Okay, so. Keep a journal. For one of the things you want to do is keep a journal. So like, I'm gonna do this for this one. If you're working on it, you can see you go back and look. It's like, oh, am I getting some gains or not? How am I doing in my workout? Am I progressing towards my goal? Or well, can also help you reflect, even if you're not working out. Maybe you. I don't know how can I put this, but you're reflecting like, ah, oh, today did I live today? Was today worth it? And then it helps you achieve your goal. It's like if you break down your workout goal. It's like, it's what you want to do, and you keep, you write how much you benched, or how much you did leg press, how much you squatted, or how much you did with your pull down, if that's what you're interested in, something like that, you could write to help, uh, helping achieve the goal. And then, another one, removing your fear. So I'm going to it, behind every fear is a person you want to become. I don't think that's exactly how you said it, but, but that's kind of a big thing, guys. Remove fear, because that holds you back. Because if, if you fear, if you're letting it handle on run you, you won't do anything. You won't take risk out there in life. Just fuck the fear. Do whatever. And just face the fears. Because fears, another thing from Great Play, he said, the fears, they come back as confidence in the future. Like, what else? What else can you do? What else? Basically, with the fears like, oh, I can take these risks, I can do this, do this stuff, this other stuff. And just come back with the confidence and face your fears and you can become a much better person. And successful people face their fears like, oh, whatever, you know, at least I did it. So another one, never give up. Never die attitude, guys. Hopes you never settle. I'm going to use a lot of great clip probably for this because he has some good stuff out there. If you haven't learned what to up, but... One thing, if you settle, give up, you settle your most precious attitude, you put your most precious commodity, I think something like that, and if you could settle, you just won't never do anything, you're like, ah, oh, I'll just settle here, because it's good enough, you never give up, guys, you just never settle for what, something better, it's like, oh, I did this, but it wasn't the best, oh, next time I'm going to try and do it even better, or I'm going to keep going at this, no matter how tough it gets down, working out gets down the road, or maybe training for like a triathlon or a marathon, it's training for it, it's like no matter how tough the training might be or trying to lose weight and or trying to get strong no matter how hard it gets for me, I'm going to do it and get there. Another one, the fourth one, learn, listen and learn. You might learn something new, plain and simple. You learn some, maybe listen to some people higher up in the field, you can listen to your teams. You know, if you listen to your team, it can be nice that heads clashing and you can <coughs> help run things better and then another one is ease tensions one of the big things it helps ease tension so you can talk like okay what are we doing wrong what can we relieve so yeah there's that so the fifth deprioritize opportunities which d don't help so just do stuff that matters and helps you get to the goal faster just don't do the useless stuff it's like oh, I'm gonna do this even though it might not help in college Doing like a major in something that's not helping. 
There's that, you know, there's that, and then, or you could do, or, when you're doing YouTube, uh, just do, bring out, if your main game is, like, Call of Duty, you can bring out random games if your channel is vlogs, or talk about sports, you talk about something else, and then the sixth, start the day with something small. Navy C the Navy Admiral, the former one, they went through SEAL training, that is UT commencement stage, so make a bed. Because if you start off and you fill everything else in the day, at least you come back to a made bed. You come back to something you did right. And you can just basically go through and like, you know how can I put this? You did it, you come back and you or you start your day with something when you get that confidence, but when you start like, oh yeah, I made this and like I'm gonna go back and do this, go do some more stuff. Set seven four and I think a lot of important move your body, if people said exercise. My hopes you think relaxes you, more energy, and a more positive outlook on stuff. It's one of the first things I can say from when I do stuff, guys. From when I So how could I put this? From when I'm not I start exercise, I start playing some of my best gameplay. I start thinking of these excellent commentaries. I start not to make some shitty ass half ass gameplays. Just keep exercising, guys. It relaxes you. I come back from a stressful day from school. I'm like, you know, I'm going to do some exercise. And then I come back and play. Or do some homework or something. I think a lot better and it's a lot easier. And just do that, guys. It's going to be one of the best things. <laughs> oh, sorry, blowing my nose. The eighth one. Pay attention to details. Details. Don't cut corners and no half ass, guys. Pay and simple. Because if you half ass, you're going to get used to that and doing it half ass and not doing anything good. Doing it the full. Full way. So, this, guys, if you're cleaning, if you're simply cleaning, and you see you miss something, guys, you go back and clean it, or do not do good enough, or just say it's good enough. Because you need to clean and do the full thing and pay attention to the detail. But success, all successful people know it's like, I'll go back and do the simple things, then the detail, like wash my dishes, I might miss a dish on the table, and I go finish doing them again after I notice I finish it. Because they don't get used to doing the, they don't get used to doing the half, half ass. They get do the full ass, and you do everything. So like, surround yourself with positive people, guys. Plain and simple. Haters, negative people, they just fucking hold you back. Plain and simple, they just hold you back. The positive people hope you need to your success, to, toward your success and effect, and help you be effective. Might help, and they help you be happier, and you enjoy what you're doing. Plain and simple, they help you. Be happy and you happier and enjoy. Negative people will hold you back. Cause they they want to see you be the same type of person they are. If you surround yourself with positive people, they help you achieve what you're trying to get to. And help you perform as well. Cause if you're surrounded with a team full of negative people compared to positive people, if you're surrounded with positive people, you're gonna do a lot more. The final one, guys, leave your ego at the door. Plain and simple. You're not the best at everything. Just just that day, guys. You're not perfect at everything. For people who read the Bible, that read the Bible, you're not made perfect, guys. You don't. You're not perfect at doing everything. Just accept it. There could be things not good. Do the things you're right at. Maybe there's some guys in your team that can do stuff that are right. That can do the stuff. Or in the company, there's guys that have those things that you know that they can do right. Or in the clan, you have some guys that know what they can do. You know what they could do. And it can help you be much more successful. And it helps you listen. One big thing is put this in there. But it helps you listen. And execute better. Because if you're having egos like, Oh, I want to do everything. I'm the fucking best. No one. My team sucks. Everyone, everyone's below me. That's not going to help you get anywhere. It just needs more harm than good. Guys, some big things out there. I'm going to do another video on why good habits are important. But that's going to be for later. And then, that's all I have for you guys today. Just stay on that grind and never quit. If it gets tough, guys, just never quit. Never settle. Just one thing you need to take from this video. Video. So, if this video made it slap or change someone's life or made someone's better, just kind of want to make them. I just want somebody to improve. That's why I make these videos. So, guys, made an impact on your life. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. To maybe talk other subjects you'd like me to make commentaries about. Until next time, guys, peace. And stay on that grind.